what do you think the biggest people leaders of virtual teams are missing? What, what's uh, that have you that you've seen on your end? Um, very, very honestly, it's communication and caring about your team. Um, you know, if you don't have relationships that are thriving with the people you're working with and a crisis happens, that's not the time to all of a sudden want to build trust and want to have people working cohesively and have communication and understanding. Um, and I've, I've seen that firsthand with, you know, companies that may have been a little volatile in team structure before are, are no longer because nobody had any heart in it to make it work. Um, so it's kind of those, it's, it's crisis, but it's those things that you did before the crisis that will get you through the crisis. Um, so it's a really interesting just to see those communication um, kind of things fall through. All of a sudden you realize, oh, maybe, you know, being in an office doesn't automatically make us a great team and we don't all communicate or trust each other. Like that's not just a given. 